what is up guys and welcome back to subnautica below zero we are back at the distress call because we need to check out this penguin in the last episode i wanted to um i there's a little cave over there i think that's where we have to use it i'm not sure so this could just be a complete flunk of time but uh we're gonna check it out um because last episode we did not oh hey wait there's a pta right there i didn't see that earlier um i don't know what this thing does but hopefully we can how do we use this now let's warm up can we i wonder if there's a certain distance because oh grab that there is a vent here if i can just stay by the vent because we don't have the cold suit yet i'm just gonna stay by the vent okay this thing's adorable uh, how do I place it? Oh. Do I have to... Oh. Wait. Left click does nothing. Right click does nothing. Oh, there, there we go. I don't know. For some reason, I had to move for it to be placed. All right. We do have our remote now. We are next to this. So hopefully we don't starve. All right, I right clicked. All right, so we left click. Oh, I right click. Oh, oh. We can self destruct. I don't want to self destruct. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why did we get kicked out? All right. So the goal is to check out this little cave here. Right, left and right doesn't really work. There's ports there. Yeah, <laughs> we can make sounds. Um, I don't know what else is in here. Infiltration value. Ooh. Oh. Well, that's worth, I guess. All right, so we are gonna find. Oh, we can't turn. All right, it's a little, it's a little weird on the um. Hmm. The slope. Pick up the ports. Turn. Alright. So unfortunately, all that was in there was the magnetite. Which is still very useful. Uh, we don't need it currently, but we will in the future. Now, I don't know where to find the, uh... Oh, look at that. I don't know where to find the snow stalkers so that's something we're gonna have to probably look into uh we we did get a bunch of um fragments from that base that i have not built yet i simply drove all the way over here and this is where we started oh we got the sea monkey egg though i want to climb up there i gotta warm up in here though we'll warm up i do have um deep fruit I came prepared. Alright. Go jogging. Hopefully our heat fruit is enough. This kind of looks like a cave. Maybe this will keep us warm. I did say that there was dangerous weather. There, there's a cave here. Warm up real quick and then run. I, I mean, it's blizzardy, but I don't see anything there is a ladder check out the ladder we might die actually oh oh snow fox fragment nice we need to find a cave though there's a ladder here there was a cave there there is a cave here check this out no idea what's in here this might be a bad idea but we are also freezing so it'll warm us up it's good i was not expecting to find this Ooh, the lighting down here is really good the sound is ominous very ominous this looks beautiful uh, uh i wonder what if this is like its own biome of some sort 
I'm not really sure what this is. All right, it seems that this cave is just to help with the heat, I'm assuming. If it is, I just want to point out that the devs have made it... The devs have done a really good job on making sure that you have areas to be heated up and that you don't have to, like, worry about just full sprinting until you die. Uh, is this another snow fox? Cool, we got the snow fox then. New technology nice. Agent. Let's go. That's our cave. Um, I think, yeah, that's the cave that just runs all under us. There's a vent over here we're going to have to hit up. I have to sit here and wait for a bit. Maybe this is just the snow fox area. Because that's where we went down. Vent? Please? what's over there. I really need this to heat up. So yeah, I, I, I have not found anything else that's over here besides this cave. And it looks, oh wait, what's that? Actually, that's where we came out of from the cave. So I don't know if they're going to add something in that cave because it, it does seem like one of those areas that there should be something in there, but there isn't. All right, guys, so I've been walking around quite a bit. Uh, we got the snow fox fragments up there, and there is this bridge here we can't get across unless we have the snow fox. And I've been trying to look for these snow stalkers in order to get their fur. And I've been focusing on, like, the mechanical bridge and here and how we can't get there. But I never checked over here. And I really wish I did earlier because this is where we need to go. Um, I haven't gone too far in here. I honestly thought this was closed off, but I'm thinking that I was remembering this place as under the mechanical bridge. I'm just going for the cave here to get some heat. So I, I've been running around, running around, trying to figure out where to go. And here, this is where I had to run the entire time. Um, I do have some heat fruits on me because I'm not sure that we are going to have geysers in here at all. And I I don't know what is all in here. I don't know if there's enemies or friendlies or... or, or oh, I see beeping. Wait. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. He is a lot bigger than I thought. He is a lot bigger than what I thought he was going to be. The growling's cool. Is he beeping though? So is this supposed to be another uh, penguin thing? The only issue I have with this is there's no geysers nearby to keep me warm. So we'll have to ooh, get the fur from this guy. And I don't know. How we're going to we're gonna have to sneak past him get in that cave hide and then use the penguin and then i think we'll come Ooh. oh no is he stuck i think he's stuck and then we'll have to use um the cold suit to come back here i i think that's gonna be our goal unless we we can only use a certain or get a certain amount of fur from him my assumption is that we can use the penguin to get an unlimited amount of fur, and that might be a really bad assumption. I just... Oh, snow plant. We can use this to get really good water. I think what I'm going to do... Scan this guy. Ooh. <laughs> right. Uh... I'm actually going to use these heat fruits. And then we're just going to use the penguin. I think it'll be fine. Can't get me here, right? Come on. I want you place. Oh, I have to look. Wait, what? Okay. The little hut, you have to, like, look at it. Alright. Now we're going to use this. I hope we don't get attacked.
I don't know how much we need. I should have pinned it. I'm just going to keep going. Wait. We only have four inventory slots. Okay. I'm coming. Hey, wait. We can see our head. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, in the original Subnaka, you couldn't see the player's head. Crazy. All right. Open storage. We got our fur. Let's go. All right. How much do we need for the cold suit? Two. One. And one. So we actually have enough. Okay. All right. Now let's... Let's... Run out of here. Run, run, run as fast as we can. Woo. All right. So I'll head back to base now. And then we can get the cold suit crafted we can get the snow fox crafted and we can come back here hopefully if um all that grinding doesn't take too long and then explore this more or we can explore up there i'm assuming i don't know where that leads honestly maybe that's not a path but then we can get going and checking this place out which is pretty awesome all right guys i am back and i have been playing a ton i've been grinding and grinding and building and being pretty dumb all at the same time <laughs> so we have a sea monkey in here now i had an egg and it hatched when we were away and then these guys have multiplied or duplicated mated whatever i think we're at the cap though I made a jukebox and we got speakers all around the room i made this thing it takes the ion cube and a titanium ingot and it's called the recycle lotron or whatever i don't know what uh gets recycled in here so i don't know and then we have the scanner room i really haven't used it um I, I tried using it for uh, lead to for this. I searched this to get lead for the what well, you can see in the upper right hand corner. I've actually been using the ping system a lot. It's super nice. I also built a control room. No idea what it does. We'll come back and check it out. But I want to craft these two things. Uh, also, also, um, I did find some fragments. I was exploring a bunch. We still need to find that. Uh, we do have quantum locker. I'm not sure where we got that from. And right now, I don't think it's really useful. It sounds like it's an ender chest. We only have one base. So I found a sea truck aquarium model or module and a sea truck fabricator module. The fabricator is what we need because then we, we can make the depth module. That At least that's how I know to do it. So I've, I've been building these so we can be more mobile, and not have to come back here all the time. And uh, I was working on this stuff, but I don't know. I, I also didn't realize I had to scan a window to learn the window. So we can make windows now um, and glass tubes and whatnot. Uh, I think that's everything in here. Pretty sure that's everything. Yeah. So there is an issue I've had. I unpinged them all. Yeah, they're right here. Okay, so... It's been a while since I've used the Snow Fox. And I would... I've built one, two, three, and four. Ugh. And this is why I've been playing for so long today. I build one, and then it spawns here, and it gets stuck. I'm like, alright. What do I do now? So I built another one, and that, then it got unstuck to here but it's still stuck and then proceeding down the line so i got this one into the water but it doesn't do anything because apparently it doesn't float on water and thankfully to the people in my discord i didn't get my inventory uh empty you you pick it up so right here that's why it's saying inventory full uh it, 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 you pack it up and it takes like a huge chunk of your inventory and then you take it to land and it only works on land i thought it floated on the water so that's unfortunate but if we blow up we have three extras now i guess so let's go ahead and make these sea truck modules 
Vehicle bay. Let's go. Modules. I don't know if this is going to work because it has a, it doesn't even have like a placeholder or it has a placeholder thing. We got a docking module. Is that is there actually something in there or is that just like empty space? Because that would be super frustrating if you have to make like a thing in the middle every time. So let's grab this. If I don't know. Okay. Yes, you can pilot it. All right. So we're going to bring this down. We are really slow. Holy crap. We are slow. Hopefully this is the front. I'm not entirely sure. I'm just going to try and put this on the back. Oh, all right. Okay. So we got, so this just lets us dock to it. That's it. There's nothing. All right. I'm going to grab this. And we are going to pilot this and bring it up here next to this so we don't have to go so far since we are so slow. Oh, how do I? Right. Right. So now we need to make this sleeper module. I don't know if this actually does anything. And I don't know if it'll be useful at all, but we're going to try it because we can. We have the resources. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. I, I'm i assuming the sleeper module is just an empty thing you can... Oh, I'm... And uh, it's an empty thing that will let us just craft stuff in it. That's what I'm I'm guessing. Like, seriously, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. When, when I played this before, the sea truck was not even in the game yet. So, this is all new. Do we need another docking module? Wait, we need... Oh my god, that is... Oof, duh. You need a docking module in between every one? There's no way. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me see something. So, if I go like this... Is that here? And then I go like this. Will this dock? Okay, that, that'll dock. And then we use this to dock in between the next one. Okay, that's fine. I think that's fine. Or does this go on our base? I don't understand the, the reasoning for that. Like, why why do we need that? Why do we have that? Let me, let me see if it says anything. I don't think it will. Docking module. Repair only sea truck. Docking module allows you to take your prawn suit along for the ride. Okay. That makes sense. That's cool. Okay. I thought we were going to need one in between each segment. And I was going to be like, what? All right. Let's check out what the sleeper module is. So we have a jukebox for free. Oh, can't play that. Copyright. Uh, that's dumb. That's frustrating. Not really, but... Okay, uh, and then we can sleep. It's just a bed. Okay. Oh. I didn't realize there was a natural animation for it. We should get, like, a buff. Like, a status buff or something. Like, makes us move faster. Or something of that sort. Alright. Well, we got that. Oh. Oh, you can disconnect the modules from inside. That's cool. Alright, so now we got an even thicker... Uh, sea truck. Let's check out this control room. I don't know what it does. And I Welcome need to figure it out. Captain. Let's go on over here to check this out. We have a hologram. This is our base. That's where we are. This does nothing. This does nothing. This is our base color. I, d I have no idea what the color our base. Let's just do black. Right white type two uh let's do yeah let's just do purple name we will do sky blue base name base all caps easy as that all right okay. upgrade console 
All right, so our power status is this. This is what we're gaining. That's what we're losing. Our integrity and the time. Is this all this does? Just oh, navigate mini map. Oh, and it tells us like the structure. Oh, well, that's neat. Ooh. It's neat. I don't think it's functional in any way besides changing the colors, but it's neat, I guess. All right, guys. So that is actually going to be it for this episode. So in the beginning of the episode, we finally, well, we checked out the penguin thing. We're finally able to do that. And then we were actually able to get the fur from the snow stalkers that I finally found. And we were able to craft our suit, which is really good. And then after that, I grinded a ton. We got an upgraded uh, sea truck. We do actually like the two remaining modules are actually the more important ones, in my opinion. So I need to find the fragments for that. That is in Leviathan infested territory over there. From what I'm aware, that's where I found those others. I just don't know if I can go deep enough to find them. And then we upgrade the base a lot. And this is what the base looks like with the colors. Actually looks pretty cool. I wish this would change too, but I actually really like the black, like a metal anodized black. And then the stripes actually look really good in my opinion too. I really like how it looks. And then uh, we did make four of the snow foxes. We were able to get the blueprint for that and make them. And I think I have my inventory clear enough. I should. Like, this thing's huge, but... Pack up snow pot. Yeah. So now it's in our, in our inventory. It says it has a charge of zero, which is weird. Um, what happens if we... Drop it here. We'll charge in. We'll pack this one up. Okay, so it's charging. Alright, so... Oh, and this one's charging. So it, it has to sit here and charge, I guess. I guess we good thing we have extra because then we can have a spare. I'll change the colors and whatnot off camera. And uh, If you guys want a name for that, let me know and we'll name it. So yeah, we did, we did a ton. At least I did a ton and then came back and told you everything that I did. But man, the grind was real in this episode. So... Next episode, I am going to get those fragments done before the episode, and then I'll get the resources to craft them, and we can check out how it works then. And that will be the plan for next episode, because then we'll be able to, like, go down in the deep, twisty biomes and check all that stuff out. Hey, this guy's coming. Do you got copper? Ooh, I'll take that. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for next episode. This was a grind, but I'm really happy that we have this stuff and we are pretty settled. Besides having like an automatic water system, which I don't know if that's in this, or an automatic food system, which we we kind of do. We, we have the aquarium in there. We're pretty set. So if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to see more Subnaka Below Zero content. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.